Hey, what is good my fellow YouTube fam? It's your boy Aaron speaking and today I got a pretty cool video for y'all. It's like a community, like a vinyl community uniting, okay? So the topic of this video is what's the most amount of money you've spent on a vinyl record, bro? So for me, I'm gonna start off with me, is definitely, hands down, without a doubt, Lil Pump, Harvard, Dropout. This shit was a whopping $5, bro, at Urban Outfitters. I saw that, I was like, bro, I don't know if I could afford this shit. Like, I might have to go another week, wait till, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, when I get paid from this YouTube shit, I might ha I can't afford it. I, I went up to the store clerk and everything. I put it on the counter. I was like, hey, man, you think you, you got any discounts, bro? He was like, not really. It has to be at least 10 bucks. And I was like, Damn, man, really? <laughs> nah, let me stop. The most I ever spent for real, for real. Oh, fucking chairs. Makes mad noise. Tickets to my downfall, the urban exclusive version. This uh, this came out towards the end of 2020, but for some reason I slacked on it. And yeah, the shit went up in price a lot right away. It was probably around the $200 range on eBay and I was like damn bro like I really want that shit because it has a swirl it's like a not a swirl it's like a smoky gray kind of it's pretty fucking cool and then you know so it was either this or like standard black at the time and I really love this album so I saw it on eBay this one guy had it for like 185 but it had a best offer you know like make offer so I'm like yeah it's over so I said, hey, bro, I DM the guy. I think I put one, I put 100, honestly. And he, he put it up to like 170. I'm like, hey, man, I got a YouTube channel. Like, hold it down, bro. I'll do a whole unboxing, whatever. And he was like, hey, man, the lowest I could do is 150. I'm like, damn. But at the time, everything was like 180 range, 200. I was like, all right, fine. So I did 150. Now I'm not too sure how much it costs. I think it's around like, the cheapest is like a hundred, so it's all good. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm a pass it on to the homies over on Instagram. And if you haven't followed me on Instagram, go do that now or after the video. Let's get it. So I walk into my local record store. Oh my God, they got the holy, holy grail. Lil Pump self-titled album, $55, uh, overpriced. Actually, it kind of went like, wow, Little Pump's self-titled album, $55, what a steal. So I walk up to the cashier, I'm like, hey, yo, Little Pump's album, I'ma buy it, here's my card. Hey, yo, take my card, bro, what are you doing? Hey, yo, hey, yo, what are you doing with my card? And the rest was history. Thank you to Aaron for letting me be in this video. And sorry I sent it vertical the first time. I'm kind of a dumbass. Hey, Aaron. So the most I spent on a vinyl was 360 bucks. I just bought this vinyl like a week ago or so. And it's Days Before Three by Lucky, which is one of my favorite albums. It's like a tiny. And the vinyl is like a purple and black splattered very cool yeah looks very cool but nobody um it took me forever to find somebody that was selling one of these and the guy i bought it from went lower on the price and i made him an offer on it and he didn't accept it so i was just like fuck it i'll just buy it at the normal price so i blew 360 bucks on that thing but it is worth it for sure great album <laughs> So the record I spend the most money on is Dark Sky Paradise by Big Sean. Um, funny thing is, I actually thought I bought this for, I think, 90 euros. I ended up paying 150 in total just because of the taxes and shipping costs because I had to get it from Australia. Um, I DM'd a dude who lived over there to get it for me because the seller on Discogs did not ship to my country. Um... So yeah, I had to pay a lot more than, than expected, but it's still worth it. What's up, Aaron? Thanks for hosting this challenge, man. 
so I don't have anything crazy, you know, like I don't have like a $500, $600 record that I splurged on for resale value or anything. Uh, but I did, I have spent uh, $100 Canadian. Uh, and this is for this record right here, Fuji's The Score, uh, Vami Please Edition. Uh, it came actually sealed and everything. I bought it two years ago from this guy on Discog, so I thought, why not? Uh, it's one of my favorite albums of all time. And uh, yeah, the pressing on this one uh, is absolutely sweet. Uh, the gold and black mix right here looks beautiful. Uh, but the main reason why I wanted this uh, variant specifically is because it comes with a seven inch right here, uh, which contains the Fuji La, the Refugee, Refugee Camp remix, and as well the, the Mista Mista song, which none of the other pressings have. So I thought, why not? You know, this would be a sweet uh, novelty in my collection. So yeah. Thanks for this video, man. What's good, Aaron? You were asking for the priciest vinyl purchase I've ever made. It's definitely Save Me by Future. This was limited to a thousand copies on vinyl. I have number 202 here and I paid $300 for it. Um, I feel like this album is criminally underrated, overhated, and it just doesn't get the credit it deserves. It's a seven song EP. And the reason I really appreciate it is because it's a completely different side of Future. You could tell he stepped out of his comfort zone when he made this. And he gave us a, a seven track EP filled with gems in my opinion. Um, every song on here is, uh, is definitely listenable. It's definitely a vibe all the way through, uh, especially on a night ride. Just play this EP through. It's definitely going to hit different. I promise. Um, so if, if anyone watching this hasn't listened to this album, definitely check it out. All right. So we got the vinyl collection going on here. Um, pretty small, only got seven, been collecting for a few months. All right. So my most expensive vinyls, probably, uh, probably a whole lot of red actually. Yeah. Um, it's a good album. Uh, do I regret buying this for 60 bucks? Not really. Uh, I don't think this is Cardi's best album, but it's definitely up there. My, my favorite song is probably, probably, Stop Breathing, uh, Vamp Anthem, and New Neon. Probably those are my favorites. Yeah. Yo, what's up, Aaron? This is my most expensive record. It's Kids by Mac Miller. Just a really cool project. I love this dude. Top 10 of all time. And the actual vinyl is a tie-dye, little color, which is, it's pretty cool. It's probably worth the money. And, uh, yeah, it comes with a poster, too, which is, uh, right there. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, pretty dope record. Uh, here's the back. Yeah, it's pretty cool. All right, thank you for having me. See you later. This shit's just so fucking fire, man. I had to get this shit on vinyl when I, when I had the money, you know. It, it was some $115, I think, but you know, it's worth it if you really want it, so yeah, I had to get it. Very happy to have it now. One of the most dope, dope projects I've ever heard in my entire life. For real. Hey, what's up, everyone? It's Pat, aka Pat's Vinyl Corner. And the most I've ever spent on a record was $190. Yep, you heard that right, $190. And it was this original promo, I guess, of two parts of Eyes on Me. As you can see right there at the bottom, next to the parental advisory sticker, it's that gold stamp right there. So I guess to give a quick backstory on how I ended up with this, I went to a record store um, out in Maryland, and dude had the record for like $250, you know, and he was like, hey, we're making deals on them. He had a whole bunch of classic, like, hip-hop shit. Like, he had, like, a, original first press of Illmatic. Uh, I want to say Pete Rock and C.L. Smooth was an OG press of that, and he had an OG press of that over there as well. So what ended up happening was, uh, it went from $200, then he just said, fuck it, you know, let's do 190 And I was like, bet. And to be honest, that kind of answers why I got it. I mean, this is a classic album. It's been on my wish list for a while, that particular press, and I couldn't beat it. I mean, nigga, $190? Come on, man. Mm -hmm.